Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Marita Sanderhoff, who is a curator of the National Gallery of Copenhagen in Denmark and community lead in Wikilabs culture. And this is Lene Rasmussen, who represents the archive of the Danish Women's Artists Association, and she's an artist herself. The archive is hosting this mini editor together with Wikilabs culture, and we're joyful to be part of Wikimania. You know, every woman out there, ourselves, our sisters and mothers, grandmothers and great-grandmothers are metaphorically spoken, standing on the shoulders of historical women's rights pioneers. I therefore will begin with a small historical introduction. Their struggle for equality began with a few individual fighters at the end of the 19th century. Women stood up and spoke in the public, and no one listened, except for other women. Most men at the time hated it. <laughs> yeah. The women realized that only by joining communities, their demands and visions would have a chance to become real for themselves, their daughters and sisters. Joining organizations became one of their feminist strategies. In Denmark, the first women's organization was set up in 1871, Danish Women's Society. At that time, women could not get an education, vote for parliament, or make economical decisions. As for Danish artists, it was impossible for women to get a membership in the organization of painters. It was only for men. And even the famous Danish painter Anna Anker was denied access to this organization. In 1916, Danish women artists joined a new community by the name the Danish Women Artist Association. This was one of the first organizations for women artists in the world. Now, to tribute all these great historical women, painters and poets, sculptors, architects, composers, dancers, film directors, and the whole formation of women's rights organizations, and to try to make their work more visible. We have chosen to select female artists and the historical notable women as a subject for this edit item. Finally, I will shortly tell you about Finnernes Bygning in English, the women's building here in Copenhagen, one of the first buildings made by women for women in the world. The idea of establishing this building was born in 1895 to create a space with mutual understanding and inclusiveness towards all kinds of women in a changing time. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Lene. And just to wrap up, uh, I'll give you a short introduction to Wikilabs Culture, the community that we're both part of and that have organized this editor together with the archive. We're a community of Danish GLAM institutions and Wikipedia volunteers working together since 2015. Our shared ambition uh, is to bring cultural heritage expert knowledge and trusted source materials to Danish Wikipedia. We aim to put special attention to the fringes and overlooked parts of cultural uh, heritage and history. So hence this Wikimania editor ton focusing on women historical artists. We're organized around a Facebook group with 300 members um, plus. Here we set up meetings, agendas, and give each other good advice and ideas in between community meetings, the Wikilabs. The GLAM institutions take turns in hosting the physical events in Copenhagen. And since COVID, we also meet regularly online. Um, with contributors from all over the country, um, at least once a month. Wikilabs culture is based on mutual benefit and trust. We have built a friendly community uh, where we support and help each other uh, and where people keep coming back. We wish you a happy and productive Wikimania here from Copenhagen, Denmark. <laughs>